Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy, 650 Eve here, coming to you from Sills Motor Sales for another exciting episode of the new bike build series. In today's episode, Zach, the master mechanic, is going to install some special Litec rear sets sent to us by our good buddy, Miami Manny at Moto Million. He's going to put those gorgeous rear sets onto our 2023 BMW S1000 RR. This is, of course, leading up to us offering that machine once it's fully modified to one of you outstanding people viewing this video. Information on how you can possibly win our new bike build series machine is always the first link in the description of my videos. I'm not going to stall any longer. I'm going to wheel that bike backwards into the shop and let Zach, the master mechanic, get busy. How's it going? We're back. We got the new bike build up on the bench and we got some cool light tech rear sets ah, to install today. Yes. I think this side's always a little easier to work with because you just have a foot peg assembly. Okay. You're not trying to balance a pedal and a master cylinder and lines and everything. I'd have to agree with that. And what size is that? Uh, this is a 40 T40. T40. So on one of these has an X and the other doesn't. <laughs> SIL. One's a 30, one's a 28. We want the 30. So we want this one. And I believe we have to reuse the factory mount bolt for this part. I always like to put just a bit of blue Loctite on all the rear set fasteners once everything's set or if it's a part that's going to stay put because mm -hmm. they see a lot of vibration in the foot peg area always from the motor so this is like the r line it has the carbon fiber heel guard there's another line that comes with an aluminum one we've used it before ah, okay and it has just like a neon colored logo 19 newton meters to the frame fun spot picking where we ah, okay put our foot peg at Probably about there, huh? Because it's down pretty low. Yeah. Let's see, we got the folding foot pegs. They also make them with non-folding foot pegs if you don't like that. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. Bolt and the washer, we'll reuse them, I believe. Or no, this is the one that uses a nut. So we won't reuse them. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, greenish. Pretty cool. I think this is like their recycled carbon fiber plastic stuff. Uh -huh. That light ride. Yeah. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> it does. It's not like plastic, but it's not carbon fiber. Yeah. You might still use the factory wash. Okay. Oh. oh. Hey, it made it out the back. There it is. Yeah. That way we don't pinch the shift linkage against the shift arm. So yeah, sure enough, I mean, we want to go back to standard shift one of these two holes. I honestly don't know the difference between the two holes. One's probably supposed to make it shift quicker than the other one would be my guess. And or it's just another adjustment for your height here. Okay. This, I think we usually just line up with the end of this and it works out, but we'll double check it and get some Loctite on it. And that is the shifter side. Nice. Rear set install. Looks beautiful. Yeah. Just enough red to pick up the rest of the red on the bike. Yep. So, like I said, this side you wind up with a lot more balancing in your hands. I see. Just trying to get this to go in the little groove. Sometimes it does it right away. Sometimes it'll like never go. This comes with some bolts for the rear master that are a little bit shorter than reusing the stock ones so they don't poke through the back side. Getting it torqued in place. We got our master cylinder mounted. We got our heel, heel guard installed. Beautiful, of course. And then foot pegs easy on this side because we just put it in the same spot as the other side and hope for the best. Okay, that usually works out for us. Yeah. Should make note one time what position we put these in, huh? Yeah. Oh, got it facing the wrong way. There we go. Let's try that instead. All right, we'll have to just uh, sit on it and check it out, but it looks great. Yeah, it does. Get all Sets our adjustments off. just right. Yep. 
I mean, yeah, it matches both sides of the bike really well. Yep. Enough black and red. And the red's really close to the other reds we got on the bike. So yes, it is. I think we got a winner. All right. As always, just a fairly large cosmetic change, but it is functional. Yes. If you want to go to the track and you're having ground clearance issues, you can move your foot peg up. If you're taller and you want more leg room, you can move it down. So all good stuff. Lots of adjustability for sure. Oh, one final adjustment we got to make. We got to set the free play in our brake pedal, which is done with that bottom set screw. So we want just this little amount of play, which is actually set pretty well. I just got to hit that lock nut. These rear sets feel amazing. I can't put into words how much better they are than stock. Man, they just really feel good on your boot when you are using them. I think that rear sets are a definite must upgrade for your motorcycle. I mean, not only do they feel great, but they look amazing. And the looks department is undisputable, but for folks that have never used aftermarket rear sets or these amazing Moto Million spec Litec rear sets, they're probably thinking, what the heck is the difference? I'm telling you, there is a big difference the way this thing feels on your boot when you are shifting and just when you're just riding it's a great great feeling <laughs> and so is lifting the wheel of a corner exit well a baby corner mind you but you see over there that's tim lally chevy the place where i purchased my c8 stingray in 2020 and now the place where i'm collecting my amazing 2023 C8 Z06 very soon. But look at these rear sets, guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And look at that clear clutch cover. I can't get enough of that. But everything is just playing well. All of the colors are just amazing on this bike. And the clear clutch cover, in my opinion, is what the S1000 always needed. It's just beautiful. Wow, stunning. And it just works perfectly with the Litec rear sets.